So you want to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses? Oh dear. You've gotten over the love bombing and saw through the bullshit, and now you want to find the exit. Step number one, don't panic. It is important that you make no sudden or rash moves upon waking up. Thoughtfully evaluate the extraction process. Remember your situation is like holding a live hand grenade. You need to be clear-headed to be able to walk away unscathed. Step number two, do some study. You have woken up and you are in a delicate mental state. You need to be careful that you can rationally educate yourself that you were part of a mind control cult. Study the Watchtower Corporation in depth, taking note of all the lies, cover-ups, and hypocrisy. You need to vaccinate your brain to withstand any future attempts at reindoctrination. Step number three, consider your plan. Decide whether you can make a clean break or need to fade. If you have no family or valuable friends within the cult, you may leave on your own terms. Your options are tell the congregation overseer that he's a horse's ass and walk into the nearest pub to enjoy a celebratory brandy and cigar. You'll be chucked out by tea time. Make sure the local busybody elder's wife or congregation gazette gets to see you leaving either a casino, bookmakers, evangelical church, or strip club. Send a letter of disassociation. Grow a beard and start answering at meetings, making excessive references to Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Start bringing a King James Bible to meetings. If you have family or worthwhile friends to lose, your options are feign depression and slowly fade away gradually missing more and more meetings over a six-month period. Volunteer to do more hours at work, and then complain to the brothers that you've been told your job is at risk if you don't do more shifts. Then do your fade. Move to a new congregation at least an hour's drive away and do your fade process. Move to a new country and assume a fake name. Step number four. Take precautions. You need to make sure that you don't get caught out by enthusiastic God-botherers. Have a spy hole fitted to your front door. Get some heavy lined curtains or blinds for your front room, lounge, or parlor. Change both your cell phone and home phone numbers. If possible, get a new and obtrusive car. Try doing your weekly shopping in another part of town. Get a vicious dog from the pound and train it using negative associations. Step number five, things to consider. Make sure that when you go out in field ministry while doing your fade, you don't accidentally induce somebody to join the cult. Try not to leave literature and talk in vague ramblings. Make sure that you don't encourage other witnesses by feeding into their delusions and cause more misery for other people. Help spiritually weak brothers and sisters to wake up by casually dropping watchtower scandals into your conversation. You won't be able to help the uber dubs as their brains have already turned to jelly and dribbled down their legs. If you can't stand to keep your watchtower library at home, either donate it to an apostate group or dispose of it suitably to protect the environment. Stop your contributions immediately. You aren't prince and work hard for your money. Don't put anything else into the collection box except monopoly money or old buttons. Step number six, learn to love your life and reclaim it. Remember you have flushed part of your valuable life down the toilet for a religious pyramid scheme. The Jehovah's Witness mindset is hard to shake. Doctors call it P-W-S-D. Change your cult mindset. Jehovah doesn't cry if you enjoy the winter solstice with your family, and chances are nobody will get beheaded at your birthday party. Beards aren't evil, except on ladies. Blood transfusions will save your life. Demons don't hide in plastic toys. 
Saturday morning should be spent with your family and not by pissing off your neighbors. Vote for what you believe is right. Give to charity. Go back to school for an education. Listen to your inner voice and start to form opinions. Your opinions. Step number seven, spread the love. Congratulations, you have successfully drained your mind of harmful religious drivel. But wait, there are other unfortunate people that are still trapped inside the cult. Do your bit to spread awareness. Make a video on YouTube. Speak out on internet forums. Together we will free the minds still trapped inside the tower.